Oh, and then we have another super chat from Brit John Bloodywood with Yad. Oh, Bloodywood is something that I have uh, wanted to react to because I saw some thumbnails from them, but I have never been able to get to them. So, yeah, it seems interesting. Indian folk metal. Okay. I actually want to search for. Oh, th Dana, Dana Dan. That was actually the one that I actually saved on my to do list here. Uh, actually pretty long time ago but that was the one that I saw as a, th as a thumbnail and it seemed pretty interesting to me that's not the one that we're reacting to right now though so let's check bloody wood with Yad one and a half million views all right so Indian style with metal seems interesting here we go I'm gonna raise the volume a bit I think I might like where this is going. What does Yad mean? Guitar, by the way. I will <laughs> drop the volume a, a bit, though. <laughs> I didn't expect it to go that loud, actually. Let's return a little bit and keep going. Wait, it is a seven string. Oh, I didn't notice right away. So he's probably singing in Indian and the other guy is rapping in English. It makes it quite available for Western people as well, like English speaking people make it makes it more internationally available. They must have had cold filming this video. Look at this guy. He has like some kind of tank top in the snow. <laughs> oh my. And, and up in the mountains even. Damn. Ooh. So, so this guy both plays So this guy, this guy both plays the guitar and the flute? Is it the same guy? Cause he's rocking Yeah, it is loud
the way he is strumming the strings, it seems kind of unrealistic. And it's, I don't know, it's probably be for the video itself, specifically. Because you won't ever see somebody playing a solo doing like this with their right hand. It's not going that big. They stay on the strings, basically, so they can be precise and accurate on, uh, on which strings they have to hit on the guitar. But look at his, his right hand, it's like swinging up and down like crazy. <laughs> Okay. Not here, of course, like he does the, um, the hammer-ons with his right hand, of course. He cannot really strum on that, but... So yeah, I get what this is all about. So the guy is re-watching footage that he recorded from he from himself and his dog, and the dog passed away. Probably that's what I get from the video, and the meaning behind the song, which is very relatable for a lot of people. I think at certain points, uh, when they lose someone or a pet or yeah. <laughs> Yad, is that a name? The name of the dog, perhaps? Or does it mean something? And he meets another person just with his dog. It's like you would say too soon. Wait, was it still half of the video going? Interesting, very interesting. I like the style very much. But I wonder, like we saw a guitar player, the rapper, the singer. We didn't see any bass player, drum drummer or whatever, keyboard player. Are there any other members in the band? I have no clue. I see it's like 10 minutes long as well, so let's... Continue? I don't know. I don't know what is coming next, but Hi guys, this is Karan. I want to thank you for watching this video. Oh, so it's actually some explanation on it. I like it. I like it. Yad, which is Hindi for in memory or Oh, so Yad means in memory. Ah, okay. Good. Remember. Is a song about overcoming the loss of a loved one. As a dog owner or a pet owner, it's a certainty that at some point of time in your life, you will be faced with the loss of your pet. So this is the guitar player, the flute player. It, the Indian English accents is so recognizable, right? <laughs> with that loss is accompanied a lot of emotional trauma, but also a lot of emotional trauma. It's a bit of it's a bit funny, but it's a serious matter, of course the loss of someone that you love or some 
uh, or, or an animal that you loved? A huge sense of guilt where you'll find yourself asking whether you did the right thing, whether what you did was enough, whether you could have done something differently. And if you're going through something like this, through the song we want to let you know that even though there's a void that they leave behind when they go, they also leave you with a gift. Great that memories. very rare exceptional gift is knowing and experiencing unconditional love and forgiveness. And we want to tell you that the only way to honor their time in our life is by imbibing those values within you and giving back as much as you can. Okay, now don't skip this video. There's something really important I want to talk to you about. Okay. India is a huge homeless animal spot. I was about to skip it. Literally everywhere you look, you'll find homeless dogs on every street and every corner. They end up suffering road accidents, extreme starvation, diseases, and unfortunately, a lot of human brutality. So this is from three years ago, actually. I, I thought it was more of a new video, but it is not. Um, so this is about some homeless dogs and such. I assume there are more street dogs in India than there are here over where I live. I don't know if he's going to like ask for some fun um fundraising or so. I don't think I need to watch the whole thing until the end. Uh I kind of know what is it's what it is about, so that's the major thing. Uh kind of hooked on the style, so I might have to check out more of them uh later on. Uh thank you Bridge John for this suggestion. Really enjoyed that one and I think some other people uh enjoyed this as well.